Biological Classification Session 8. In this module, we will recapitulate the general features of Kingdom Protista. All unicellular eukaryotes comes under Kingdom Protista. Members under Kingdom Protista are primarily aquatic. Chrysophytes, dinoflagellates, euglenoids, slime molds and protozoans are the few categories of protists. Since they all are eukaryotes, they contain a well-defined nucleus and other membranous organelles. Some protists have a flagellum or a cilium. They produce asexually by self-fusion and sexually by zygote formation. Chrysophytes include diatoms and golden algae or desmids. They are microscopic and they float in great numbers in fresh water and also in saline water. They are mostly photosynthetic. Diatoms are known as chief producers in the oceans. The cell wall of diatoms are embedded in silica, making them indestructible. Diatoms therefore manage to leave behind a large amount of their cell wall deposits in their habitats. The fossilized remains of diatoms form diatomaceous earth and it can be used for various purposes like polishing, and filtration of oils and syrups. The dinoflagellates are colorful protists which are found in marine and fresh water. Depending on the main pigments in the cell, they are yellow, green, red, blue or brown. Sometimes when a red dinoflagellate multiplies rapidly in the sea, it makes the sea appear red. This red tide phenomenon is known to be harmful as it releases toxins that kill marine animals such as fishes. Dinoflagellates usually have two flagella, longitudinal flagella and transverse flagella. Their name indicates how both the flagella are positioned. The euglenoids Two like dinoflagellates have two flagella, one short and one long. Instead of a cell wall, the euglenoids have a protein rich layer called pellicle that makes their bodies flexible. The euglenoids are phototrophic autotrophs in the presence of sunlight since they have chloroplast like plants. However, they behave like heterotrophs in the absence of sunlight. The four types of protists are slime molds, which are saprophytic protists, that is, they live on dead organic matter. They form huge aggregation called as plasmodium. During unfavorable conditions, this plasmodium differentiates and forms pores that possesses true walls. These pores are so resistant that they can survive for years during the adverse or unfavorable conditions. Now let us learn about the last type of protist, namely protozoans, that are believed to be primitive relatives of animals. Did you know the word protozoans means the first animals? All protozoans are heterotrophic and live as predators or parasites. The protozoans are classified into four types, namely amoeboid protozoans, flagellated protozoans, ciliated protozoans, and the sporozoans. Out of these, the amoeboid protozoans they live in both fresh water as well as in moist soils. They use false feet called pseudopodia in order to move and to capture the prey. Some amoeboid protozoans like Entamoeba are parasites. 
the flagellate protozoans as the name suggests have flagella they may be free living or parasitic some parasites like trypanosoma can cause diseases like sleeping sickness the ciliated protozoans like paramecium can be found in almost all places where there is water they are very active since they have thousands of cilia it is the coordinated movement of these cilia that steers the water containing their food into the gullet the gullet is a cavity that opens to the outside of the cell surface and lastly the sporozoans are organisms that have an infectious spore like stage in their life cycle the plasmodium is the most famous protozoan it causes malaria in humans and is also known as the malarial parasite thank you